Hi, today I'll be explaining how to make a Pixelmon 500 server, which is currently the latest version possible. Let's pause for a moment. Before I continue with the guide, if you want a nice quiet place to play with your friends, just come on over to pixel.un-link.com. It's a small and friendly community, always willing to accept more Pixelmon fans. All setup is already taken care of by me, and it almost never lags. So come on over, I'm sure you won't regret it. Now let's move back to the guide. To make things easy I made a zip which contains most of the server files so most of the setup is done for you already. Just download the zip and extract it into a folder and you should see something like this. Launching a server is as simple as running this launch.bat file. Now moving on you need to make the server accessible to everyone else. If you don't you can just run the launch.bat file and connect to your server by entering localhost instead of IP address and you're good to go. Now if you do need to enable the port forwarding then there's a server.properties file which you have to open up with either notepad++ or if you don't have it just regular notepad will do. Doesn't really make a difference. Once the file is opened up there's a section in it called server IP and it's empty. If you leave it empty it works on localhost but to open it for others you need to enter your IP address in there. To find out what's your IP go to a website in the description what's my IP.org and at the top of it you see your IP addresses and numbers there. So you need those numbers. Copy it and paste it in the file there. Once it's pasted just save the file and close it. That's it. You're done with that. Now the next step is to open port forwarding in your router. Now depending on what your router is, your setup can be completely different than mine would be. So to make things simpler, step one, open up your start menu and in it type cmd.exe. Hit enter. And that'll open up a terminal like this. In it, type ipconfig and hit enter. Once you've done that, in it you have to find IPv4 address. Basically, this is the address for your computer in your router. So once we know this is your computer, we go to a website called portforward.com. And in it we have a list of routers. You can find link in the description. And out here you have to find your router. Just for the sake of an example, I'm going to use Asus whatever model. And as you can see, it includes all kinds of steps on how to reach the router page. And since we already know your computer's IP address, you just use that as an address and you have to open up ports 25565. So in port range you would enter 25565 as well as local port. And you have to open up both protocols, TCP and UDP. And yeah, using this guide just ignore the ports they're suggesting here and open up 25565 on your local address of your computer. And that is it. Now if you've done everything successfully, you can go to a website, again, link in the description, called canyouseeme.org. And out here, it's going to show your IP and port to check. So you open up 25565 port, so you enter here, 25565, and click check port. And if it opened up successfully, it's going to say successful. If it didn't, it's going to say port not open. Mine is not open currently, so it's going to say not open. But yours, if you did everything according to the guide on the router website, it should say open successfully. And if that is the case, then you can close everything down, launch your server, as we can see it's starting up here, and now you can start your Minecraft client, which has Pixelmon mod 5.00. 0. 0. 
and with it you should be able to connect. I've gone ahead and skipped through the loading part. As you can see our Minecraft uh, is open and our server is also running. You will need Pixelmon Mod installed on your client to be able to join. If you don't know how to do that, check the eye icon at the top right corner. That'll lead you to a tutorial explaining how to install the Pixelmon Mod on your client. Moving on, to join your server, go to Multiplayer tab, click Add Server, go to Server Address tab, and out here you enter your IP, which we found out previously. But in case you forgot, you can go to whatsmyip.org and find your IP here, paste it in here, and click Done. That's it. In my case, I didn't open up the port, so joining through IP wouldn't work. But if you open up the port, just enter your IP and it'll work. So to demonstrate that this does work, aside from port forwarding part, um, I'll join my server through localhost, which you can do too if you don't want to do port forwarding, but that way only you will be able to join it. So I enter localhost and I click done. And as you can see, the server is online. If you did the port forwarding, it'll be online for everyone. So just click join server and you're good to go. We are in game, ready to play. The last thing you may want to do is install some kind of extra features to your server which are on Sponge, which is what we're running here, known as mods. So you can find a link to this in the description and there's all kinds of various plugin mods. Well, they're technically mods, but they work same as plugins work for all their servers. So say I want to get Polis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but oh well. So you go to the Downloads tab, which you can find here, and just click to download the jar. That's it. You save the jar, and drag it into the mods folder. Then restart your server, or if you had shut it down, then just start it up. And that's it, you'll have it running. Now the last thing I almost forgot is how to stop the server. Uh, if you click the X button, it can sometimes not save everything you did. So to securely save all you did and stop the server, just go to the terminal, also known as console, and type stop and hit enter. That will save everything you did, save the world, and safely shut down the server. Once that is done, it will just say press any key to continue. You do that and you're good. That's it. Thanks for watching.